Hello everyone, Cesare here with more Dragon Quest Builder. No, Final Fantasy XI. We are currently in Bastok. If you recall, we left off at the end of Bastok, where uh, we were just about to do the final mission, I'm pretty sure. Silly is here with me. Let's give us a wave. There we go. And Miro, of course. It is time for that naked man to run by using a Mandragora hat. I'm not entirely certain using my uh, new microphone is great for this game, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so, with that said, we are here. If I bump the microphone at all, it's because it's currently in my way. I don't... I don't have a good setup for this yet. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. Without it being in my way. Uh, okay. Anyway, that should be fine for this for now. So, what we gotta do is I gotta go to the webpage because I think I have the wrong uh, quest listed up here. So, give me just one moment and I will get it going. I thought I had the right one open, but I did not. We are going to Bastok Missions, and we are at... We just finished Enter the Tailkeeper. We might need to do Salt of the Earth. I'm pretty sure we just finished that, though. Yeah, we did. Alright, so we're at the next one. It's called Where Two Paths Converge. Alright. We may need to turn in some crystals, but let's go see if we can pick it up from... I think it's a gate guard. Uh, yeah. So. Where two paths converge. We'll talk to Rashid first. So, I know it's been a bit since we've done FF11. Now, Silly is going to be back for most Sundays from here on. I have one Sunday in August. I think it's the first Sunday in August, actually, where I will be busy. Ah, uh, nope. Okay. So we're going to trade. Uh, okay, so let's give him three ice crystals, or water crystals. Four wasn't enough for me, so good luck. Okay, let's trade him five crystals. Nope, not enough with five. Okay, I'm I sure need... One light crystal after that. That's pretty much what I had at this time. Uh, slash... Sack. Okay, I got more crystals in here. Trade. And we will give you one of these uh, first. Nope, oh, okay. Oh, I want to talk to you. Gonna trade him. We'll give him two more of these. Yeah, the slime. There we go. We're tooth path converge. Recently, an adventurer who was sent to investigate the Northlands has been attacked. According to a report, the attacker is uh, 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 the attacker resembled the Dark Knight Zaid. The strange thing is, is that the attacker passed a letter to the adventure before letting her go. Now this letter's content is causing quite a commotion in the president's office. You've been asked to report directly to President Karst for further details. Will you accept this mission? Alright. So they just wait around until I show up to accept this mission? Or, like, do they just give yeah, it to the first adventure? <laughs> yeah, they don't even look for the person that's been asked for that. Like, fuck it. They'll come back to the gate guard eventually. Yeah, somebody here named... Is that Jiwi or Jiwi? I forgot how to set the FPS properly. Uh, you want to do slash FPS and then space oh, it's the slash number? FPS. Which I should probably do as well. I don't want to get to the metal work, so. 
Sorry about the sound issue there, everyone. Okay, so we're going to slash FPS one. There we go. Now the game looks better-ish. So, once Silly gets here, we are in the president's office. We gotta talk to Iron Eater. Now, I'm pretty certain we got all the cutscenes with him, but there's a potential he won't give us the one we want right away. Oops, at the wrong building. Hello. We're double jabbing it. Yeah. Alright, Iron Eater was you. Okay. We've been waiting for you, Nero. Some unbelievable events have taken place recently. It seems as if the Dark Knight Zaid attacked one of our adventurers in the Northlands and forced her to deliver a letter addressed to Captain Volker. Even more unbelievable is the content of that letter. But enough talking. We should enter the president's office now. What is the meaning of this? Give me one good reason why you were compelled to hide the truth about what my uncle did over 30 years ago. Volker, we weren't trying to hide it from you. Wait, you knew about this too? You knew about it? Well, you see... Oh, and the next thing you'll tell me is that Miro knew about all this as well. So the only person who didn't know anything about it was the one with the cursed blood running through his veins. Me. Is that all you've got, Vraugrim? Ulrich. Why? Why? Because I never liked you. That's why. You will never get away with this, Ulrich. Watch me! Cornelia? What have I done? I didn't join the Musketeers because of my uncle, but that didn't stop the rumors. The rumors that it was my uncle's influence that got me my position. And so I was promoted to the Mithril Musketeer. So I was promoted to Mithril Musketeer, and then to Captain. And that what was waiting for me when I finally reached the top? The truth about my uncle and its cover up. Who am I supposed to believe now? Are you done whining, Captain? What? The only reason we did not inform you of what happened 30 years ago is because we, we thought you would react like this. And look at yourself! Exactly what we expected! Or maybe you want us to sit with you and cry over your cursed destiny? You want us to comfort you and tell you what happened 30 years ago has nothing to do with the present? Will that make you feel better? It seems that I have overestimated your ability as captain. Did you just say that this is how you expect him to act? <laughs> Karst, that wasn't necessary. You are no longer of any worth to Bastok. Iron Eater will take your place until we appoint a new captain. Now leave this office. President Karst. And while you're gone, why don't you try finding Zaid and bringing him back to Bastok? He'd be a lot more useful around here than you. Understood. I will obey your orders. Captain. It's all... It's all my fault. I should have told him a long time ago. <laughs> if he couldn't handle that, then he certainly cannot handle the position of captain. Miro! You heard what just transpired here. I have a feeling that Zaid's letter was just a ploy to get Volker to meet him. However, by the looks of him, I'm not positive that Volker is ready to meet Zay's challenge. But we cannot wait for Volker to come to terms with the truth that lies before him. That's why I'm asking you to go capture the Dark Knight and bring him here. Whether I make him Volker's replacement or throw him in the jail is up to me. President Karst, you cannot do this. Think of what both have done for this country. That's right, Karst. You're not the type to let your feelings control your actions. I've... I've given my orders and I'm not repeating myself. 
Zayn has much popularity among our soldiers' ranks, and that is why I cannot allow this investigation to be headed up by the Musketeers. Miro, you were successful in defeating the Shadow Lord. I'm entrusting this next task to you. Now be off with you. Your destination is Castle Zval. Hey, Lunk. How's it going? Welcome to today's stream. Let me know if the sound is too loud. I'm using my new mic, but I don't know if I'm too close to it or not. But I can't really back up any more than I am, so... I'll have to figure something out if that's the case. Alright, so, silly, we need to go to Castle Zval. Yes, the throne room. Okay. It's going good? Good to hear. Okay, we got a home point to Castle Zval. It's like Valdonia or Faragandi. Uh, Valdonia, yeah. Castle Zval keep. Sound is perfect. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. It's been a little while since when she helped me set up the sound for this, and she uh, doesn't like to help with FF11 stuff. Alright, once we're in here, we're gonna go fight the boss. I don't think we'll need to summon dress for this. Karst, the voice I picked for Karst is hurting my throat today. Oh no. Normally it doesn't, but whatever. I'm gonna avoid. There's a lot of places in the Final Fantasy worlds that are just so high up that they just fall to nothingness. Anyway, Lonk, how's your weekend been going? What have you been up to? Did you do anything exciting? Oh, there's somebody here. They just went in. One of them did. Nothing much, been a good good lazy weekend for you. Alright, you ready for this? Yeah. Okay, we are doing the battleground. If it ever pops up. There it goes. Where two paths converge. Oh, you saw Homecoming? I really enjoyed that movie. So, Volker is not with you. No matter how many times and how many other kindred are slain, the darkness that engulfs Vastok will remain until the past that haunts him is vanquished. The enemy lies within me. Grogrim stood up to rid himself of what plagued him. Now it's time for Volker to do the same. Take up your weapon. I will not let Grogrim's death be in vain. Where there is light, there is pain for Vastok. Now one of us must journey to the dark to wake those that still dwell in the light. Let the sound of our blades ring forth to Gustaberg and to Volker's ears. You need not hold back. I am prepared to face whatever may come. This music uh, was at uh, Distant Worlds. Here, yeah, run for silly. Good job. Is this the extent of your power? Why do you hesitate? This will not appease. Volker. I apologize for making you wait. What? I've waited 20 years. I want some answers, Zaid. Why are you doing this? Why do you have to play these games? If you want my position so badly, why don't you just come back to Bastok and take it? It's yours! I will answer your question with another. What has brought you here, Volker? I. How dare you! You vehemently deny that your success has been a result of your uncle's deeds. However, when you learn of the crime he has committed, you are at a loss for words. What? 
Do not mock me. Do you not realize you are just another page in the bloody history of the Tailkeeper? You! How can you know the pain that I feel? And if you cannot find within that pain the answers you seek, then learn from my blade the true meaning of your pitiful existence. If it is our destiny, then so be it. From this point, 20 years ago, our lives took different paths. And this is where those paths are to end. Oops, sorry for the bump me on the mic. Alright, so I imagine we gotta protect Valker. Not a, not a very difficult thing to do. Alright, so Silly will build a weapon skill him. If he does, he's dead. If he doesn't, well, he's probably still dead. Oh, he's got Shadow of Rage. Okay, well. Those Shadows of Rage were pointless. So, Long, what did you think of Spider-Man? So, you saw Spider-Man, right? Yeah. Alright, cutscene. Uh. Zaid! You will become quite a warrior, Volker. It is only because of this adventure was with me. Miro kicked the crap out of you, whereas alone I could not have defeated you. You finally see. You do not need to fight alone. Others oh, will no. always be there to fight for you. <laughs> Zade. Twenty years ago, when my blade met that of the Shadow Lord, I felt his anguish. That anguish forced me into the shadows. However, there I did not find what I sought. It was only then that I realized the answer lay in the light. While it is my destiny to remain trapped in the darkness of my soul, yours is not. Your place is out in the light, and that is why Bastok is better in your hands than mine. What are you saying? Don't you realize how many people out there are waiting for your return? They only await my return because they do not have faith in yours. Look behind you, Volker. Look at the worry on their faces. Listen to the story those faces tell. Why are you... Captain, it's not fair. Why didn't you tell us you were coming? Ugh. I would have given anything to go a few rounds with the legendary Dark Knight. And you wonder why you're still a door boy. Our purpose is not to merely improve our skills as fighters, but to protect and ensure the happiness of the citizens of the Republic. We bring them hope. It is ironic, but it is our duty to create a society where people like Najee are forced to complain about having nothing to pummel. But if we only had something to pummel... The Age of Adventurers. It is an age without heroes, as well as an age where anyone can become one. An aid such as this requires a strong leader to help the people overcome their troubling pasts. You are best suited for that position. But can I truly lead them? You are the only one who can. I... I will now return to the shadows. I look forward to seeing how our country prospers under its leaders. Sir, the Galka still await your... If I were to return now, I would destroy everything Gumba has attempted to build. The time for conflict between the Galka and the Humes is over. I ask you to support Gumba in his efforts in bringing our people together. Zed, when I fulfilled my duties, I wish another round with you. Huh. I accept your challenge, but on one condition. And you don't hold back like you did this time. I'm sorry you had to see that. I should head back to the president's office now. I have a lot of explaining to do. We'll be waiting for you there as well, Miro. Silly. Okay, so... I like how he's like... You realize you don't have to fight alone. Meanwhile, he didn't fight at all. I don't even think he laid a hit. He got thrashed. So silly, how do you feel about the Bastok storyline compared to the Sandoria storyline? It's interesting. 
I kind of have issues with it. Oh yeah. Are we going the right way? Is this the throne room or the exit? It's hard to tell. No, this is the throne room. We gotta go back the other what? way. What? It teleported us all the way back to the exit? Apparently. Why? Because they're rude. Um, so, this one just appeared to be like a season of a show that didn't really have a direction and kind of just threw us all over the place. That's what it felt like. Like, I don't really have any attachment to Volker and... Well, I kind of get why he and Zed fought there at the end. It just kind of happened. They didn't really build up to it that well. <laughs> it just seems like we were doing random tasks for that fucking senator, and then oh look, there's issues with the uh, with with the Galka. Okay, look, there's another tailkeeper. No wait, he's fake. It just seems like they were tossing us all over the place without really providing a coherent story. Like, the framework was there, but the story itself just kind of... I don't know, I can't explain it very well. It just didn't feel very well put together to me. Alright, I think we'll go back to the bat. To the battle works. Oh, sorry everyone. Apparently Zaid has a uh, weapon skill called Shockwave that when hit does AoE damage to everyone but also can put everyone to sleep. Nice. Which is very confusing to me. It hits you so hard it knocks you out. I guess. Talk to Iron Eater. Welcome back from Castle's Fall. You may enter. Now that you're all here, I have one question to ask. Why can't you mess with musketeers ever follow orders? I thought I told you to bring Zade back here to Bastok. And because you didn't, couldn't complete a simple task, what am I left to do? Reinstate this failure of a soldier as captain? President Karst. I've heard enough. Leave my office. Find something suitable for the adventure's reward. Do you think the president's mad because of us? Got it backwards, Nashi. I haven't seen him this happy in ages. Haha! <laughs> that man could never show his true feelings. I thought we might be punished more severely. Oh, do not worry, sir. Knowing the president, I'm sure we will get a be getting a pay cut or something of the like. A pay cut? Come on, I still got 16 more payments on my loan. Don't tell me you bought another sword. I, I don't know how to thank all of you. I can never be Zaid. I don't have the strength to carry that burdens that he does. However, I have come to realize that there are some things that only I can accomplish. While there are many truths that can be seen within the boundaries of the nation, there are th some things that all can only be viewed once one has left their native soil. That is why adventures such as yourself are of great importance to our country. This is your reward, Mira. And with it, I present to you our nation's highest honor, Rank 10. <laughs> I cannot begin to count the number of times I have thanked you for your services, but thank you. <laughs> it's not like a medal, it's just a rank. Some girls have all the luck. You, you get a reward. Me, I get a pay cut. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. There's a letter for you. Here, you'll know who it's from when you read it. And how'd she get it? Or did he read it? <laughs> he must have. A federal offense. Dear Miro, do you really like Bastok? Oh, well, okay, you get to voice that. I. I hated my country. A country ruled by Gil. A country where people don't care about anyone but themselves. I tried to change it, 
But with each passing day, I seem to think that I maybe I was really powerless against the system. But recently, I've met a lot of different people, and I've come to realize that I'm not as powerless as I thought. And that's why I've decided to listen to the voice of the people and ask them, do you really like Bastok? As a matter of fact, I've already started asking. Here's what they have to say. You sure do ask strange things, Cornelia. Hmm, well, I haven't had the easiest life here in Bastok, but I don't think I could have pursued my dream anywhere else. It may sound strange, but being in this country gives you the confidence to tell everybody. I'll show you. You can be Salima. Of course. I'm proud to say that I was born and raised in Bastok. Even though we are surrounded by moms of desert, I can still get all the ingredients I need for my family's meals. I think that this can only come from the freedom that this nation is built on. Some may criticize the muddy hungry ways of the merchants and adventurers, but without them, where would Bastok be today? My only trouble is trying to decide what to make for dinner. I'd say that is certainly a carefree life. Oh, I was also you. <laughs> what the hell kind of question is that? How could I like a country where humans have stepped on us Galka for a hundred of years? <laughs> the bridge between our people cannot be built in a day! But if we do not try, the spirits of our ancestors can never rest. Everyone knows we must change our ways, but that is often easier said than done. Love, hate, does it really matter? But when people try to live their lives without taking the rules that have been laid down before them, there are bound to be some problems. I guess that's what you call responsibility. You know, the word wasn't used much by the ancient Galka. Nobody really questioned the responsibility of the tailkeeper, just as no one really questions the responsibility of the gods. If you're going to leave everything up to one person, responsibility is obsolete. However, if you try living in a community, now, if you too would stop to start taking some responsibility... Hey, you don't have to get that upset. If I had no feelings for this country, I would probably still be refining my skills in Norg. But I feel that it is my duty to protect this nation. It may sound simple, but it is what drives me. I just wanted a place where I could conduct my experiments. I never thought they would make me so important. <laughs> the only thing I need out of life is the opportunity to give something back to the people. Sure, I like Bastonk. Where else could a guy like me become a musketeer? This is the land of opportunity. Now, if they would just get cut back by my hours and give me a raise, I could be the star of hope for all the little children in the nation. As long as the enemy lurks on the outside, the battle to defend this nation must continue. And as long as the battle continues, the work for the officials such as myself will never end. I do not think that we shall ever see a perfect Bastok, but that does not mean we should stop trying to build them. The day one can speak their true feelings for one's country is the day she realizes her true role there. Sir Zaid away, I never stopped thinking about what my role was. But now I have finally come to see what I must do. And I feel a step closer to being able to speak my true feelings about Bastok. What's that supposed to mean? Now stop asking foolish questions and get back to your room and study! I love this country from the bottom of my heart. Sharing the pain and the joy, denying pain and forcing it on another can cause more pain and joy will never be achieved. The pain that I have suffered is the pain of all the citizens of Bastok, and I will continue my struggle until that pain has been turned to happiness. As for me, well, I don't know if I can answer yet, but I do know this. There's a lot more of this country than I want to learn about. And maybe someday I can become somebody who will represent the people and bring change to Bastok. Maybe I'll even become... Wait, I'll leave that in secret. Just look at Captain Volker. Compared to his uncle, he's accomplished so much. If he could just do it. I apologize for my rambling. I want to thank you again for all you have done. Fighting for our nation, defeating the Shadow Lord, 
Your accomplishments have benefited Bastok so much. However, in addition, you have given us something more important. You have taught us about what we were lacking. I know now the importance of sharing our joy as well as our pain, and I will work hard to make sure I never forget. Until we meet again, Miro. Cornelia. A hundred thousand gil and a bestoken flag. I don't remember getting all this gil when we did Sandoria. Maybe they're just poor. Maybe. This is a found uh, uh, nation built on gil. I have like 300,000 gil now. That's good though. Makes us able to buy all the stuff we'll need to do for uh, Bastok sure. Past. I don't actually know if we have to buy anything for Bastok Past. I haven't looked that much into it. Which I'm now going to open up how we get there. I'm going to stop the recording here though.